What's up guys, this is Marwa and today we are in uh, Brussels, Belgium. Me and my brother here, Luis. Uh, please introduce yourself, bro. What's your name? I am Luis from the Soulful Nomad YouTube channel. Yes, uh, and uh, you're from Brussels. Yes. This is your city. Yes. You are born here. Uh -huh. Wow. So, what are we supposed to do right now? What's the plan? We go to visit Matonge, it's the African Congolese uh, area. Yes. And uh, I will show Maria how it is. This is called Matonge? Yes. And this street, what's the name of this street? Chaussée de Dixel. Chaussée? Chaussée Dixel. Chaussée Dixel. Guys, let's go to Matonge. Okay. Oh, it's, it's actually saying Matonge. And Ma Matonge. So. Eh, eh. So, you, you, you said this? Huh? The name Matonge is from Congo? Yes. From Kinshasa. Kinshasa. Yeah. Wow, man. So you. See, 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 see this building? Yes. This is my family. We own, don't know. This is my family. We own this. We own many, but people don't know. Your family? Yeah. So you're from a rich, a rich. So I'm, no. doing, I'm working with a millionaire here, man. Huh? I'm working with a millionaire here. These people they pay us money, but they don't know. It's careful, careful. Wow. So it feels like Africa, man. Yeah, it is. Even me as an African walking inside here, people don't look at me because other places, people look at you, see if they are making clothes. So I don't stand out. <laughs> yeah, we don't stand out. Yes. And you see the clothes? Matonge. Wow. So they sell even food and... Ah, we need to try some Sardine fashion show. It's kind of a mix. There's food inside there. Wow. Everything, man. Matongo. Wow. I wish I meet people and interview them a little bit of this place. No, merci. 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 Guys, let's let's see what's going on here. When I was kids, I used to go to this shop to Salon. do my hair. I think also I need to make my hair, man. I was going there. They, they do dreads. Yeah, I could they ask. Do dreads. They do dreads too. Yes. My hair is in a mess, man. How, how many euros do you think they they ask? I don't know. Man. Let's walk around. We see. So he's checking my dreads. Ça c'est pour ça c'est c'est pour. What do you want? Like, uh, so guys, I was trying to make my hair like retouch. How much did the guy tell me, man? 15. 15? 15. 50? 15. No. One, five. No. No, no, 15, he said. He says 50 euro. No, 15. Because after he told you 10. 15 is to retouch my hair. But to make it and shave is 50 euro. Can we ask him again? Come, let's ask him. Me, I had 50 euro. Ask him. Huh? Ask him. So we're gonna ask him. But the girl, I think they can do that. Actually, he said 50 euros. 50 euros to fix my hair. Yes. Then he said we're gonna add another 10 or 10 or 15 euros to fix my hair. Okay guys, the kids playing basketball. To fix my hair? Yes. No, it's We're in Matonge. We're in Matonge. We're in Matonge. Let's see. Yeah, for a long yeah. time. <laughs> so, the problem you come at the wrong time? Yes. See. No, no, no. It's too tough. What? No, 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 no. Yeah, it better behave with yeah. the camera. So what happened, man? Huh? What happened? What? The lady said you're gonna do us 30. 30 for the hair. Yes. 30 euros. Yeah, but be careful with We just came from, it's called Ma, Matonge. I don't know if you can see the name right there. Huh? Hey, how are you? Yeah, yeah. 
so this is still Matonge. This is still Matonge here. And uh, this lady wants to be on my camera. <laughs> So it's kind of raining, Luis, today. But oh, this is purely African. Let's find some place to eat food, man. African food. Yeah, man. Well, actually, they sell even sugar cane. Look, man. They sell sugar cane. First time I'm seeing people selling sugar cane in Europe. Wow. Matonge. As a very cute girl here. Hi. <laughs> Hey Luis, man. That lady was saying, stop filming me. <laughs> That's why you have to be careful, actually. Yeah, especially but, here. Yeah, but the thing is, as long as you didn't put camera on her face like this, there's nothing she can tell you. Because you can tell her I'm doing my own stuff, recording. Wow, even these ones are in Africa. So this, this is an African neighborhood. Yes, we're just walking here. Also the other shops, right? I think that lady was nice, 30 euros. I don't know, man. We have salon, I told you. But you come at the wrong time, so... Man, you should have taken me to your home, man. But I, you have I, come at the wrong time, Why, I'm bro? You. Why wrong time, Because man? we are doing a renovation. Everything is closed. Nobody can enter. There is people walking. But you just need to tell somebody they can fix it in your house. I can come to your place, stay there, yeah, and Yeah, but fix it. The, the people are busy walking. There is no service at all. Oh, man. If you had come one month before, one month before. But it's okay, bro. So guys, this is an African neighborhood here. It's called Matonge. Matonge. Even if you see the hair designs here, it's this, you see. Purely African. And uh, my worry is sometimes when I'm filming, people don't like cameras. So there's even one lady who says, hey, stop filming me. So that kind of gives you problem. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, it's really... It's best here, is, but you better behave with the camera because people can eat you here. Oh, like because for real? people sell drugs, so they don't want to be filmed. Oh, right here in this street? Yeah. So I have to go slow. What is this? Because it looks like black person because of their hair, you see? I don't know if you can see this. It's actually... Like a black mother carrying a kid. Hey, gracias. Merci. No, pa. He's asking me if I want cigarette. Hey. Guys, we're still in Matonge. I have to be careful with my camera because there are a lot of drug yeah. dealers here. Yeah, these like, people, these like I see in front of me, they are drug So, guys, we're, we're in Malewa. We want to have some African fast food. I don't like fast food. Let's see what they have. And I want to have some. You have wet tilapia? Oh, I was looking for wet. Okay. So I'll have rice. And this is. Oh, I just don't eat pork. The, o the only pork is not pork. Chicken. Oh. So let me see what to eat. Luis, you found something? This is their menu, guys. Yeah, we'll take the chicken. They don't have pork meat. Yeah. So guys, we're in an African restaurant here. We just ordered some food and uh, we're gonna show you some local food. It's a very small restaurant. We're gonna show you around here. If you are in Brussels, you can also come here. It's called Malewa. Malewa in an African neighborhood called Matong. So you can come and uh, just chill. Guys, I, I know I had already showed you here, but the owner of the restaurant was really nice. He said we can film. She said actually. So we are in Matonga neighborhood, Malewa, African fast food. We wanna go in. Luis, man. So this is Luis. His home is around here. He's showing me around. The owner of the restaurant said we can film. What? The owner of the restaurant said we can film. Okay. So you want to show them different types of foods they have here? Yes. Hello, madam. How are you? Hello. She says she watches African YouTubers, but she does. <laughs> coming. Coming. Okay, oh, yeah, she's coming. Okay. So we are in her restaurant today. We want to show you some African food. When you're in Brussels and you missed food from Africa, 
you don't have to be black actually you can be white and you want to try something new something different you can come here they have uh, fish different types of fish they have uh, plantains right there and also i want to be showing you more even up here they still have more and their kitchen right there okay madam you want to be your oh you put some light for me yeah nice shining even it's much better you can see the foods rice and stuff the small small table area because you know rent is very expensive here Luis you love this place man it is a good place it's a good place yeah. so let's wait for our food then I shall show you what we're gonna be eating hey you say the name of this street is uh Rue de la Paix Origi la Paix Rue, Rue de la Paix Good de la Paix yeah. sorry sorry <laughs> you know I don't speak French so and it's like Peace Street oh Peace Street yeah. It's the same thing when you tell French people to speak Rue to de la Paix. pronounce Rue de la Paix. Yeah. Emphasize, bro. Huh? Rue de la Paix. Rue de la Paix. Yeah. You know, actually, if I tell French people to pronounce my name, they cannot. Marwa. 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 No. Okay. Marwa. 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 Uh -uh. Marwa. <laughs> yeah, at least. Marwa. So it's very difficult. So let's wait for our food. I just ordered some tilapia. And what did you order, bro? Hmm? What did you order? The chicken. Is it onion? Okay. Eh, uh, no, not really. No onion. Okay. Maybe more tomatoes than onion. <laughs> okay, let's wait. Marcy. Hey, Louise. Hey. <laughs> what is that, Louise, man? I think I'll have to remove this one here. Sorry. How do you say sorry? Désolé. Désolé. Huh? Désolé. Désolé. Désolé, 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 madame. Désolé, madame. C'est pas grave. C'est pas grave. Okay. Uh -huh. That's how I'll do until I get everything up. Like that? Yes. Désolé. You just have to try. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing now. Somebody's calling me from home. Okay, somebody's so calling me from home. What? So, so I, just, I just asked for more more vegetables and because this is very plain i think i need to wash my hands to eat oh, this fish water? yeah i just need to wash my hands yes hey, hey. Por favor. oh they are men they are like drug dealers <laughs> in the streets but this is tilapia i want to enjoy this Sorry? Twaps. Twaps? Twaps. Twaps is... Like a... Sparkling water. Oh. No, I just wanted to wash my hands. Yeah, she's coming with... I'm asking what you want to drink. Ginger. I'll take just ginger. Yeah, ginger is much better. Yeah, I see we're in Africa. Thank, thank you. Merci. Merci. Madame. That's all I know. <laughs> oh, no. This reminds me very far away. Yeah. Ginger. It's natural? Yeah. All right, my God. So how many languages do you speak? Because three. now, yeah. Um, three, four, I think. English, French. English, French, Spanish. Tu hablas español? Wow. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, and uh, my, nat my native language. Where are you from originally? Oh, Cameroon, yeah, you told me that. From the region. Okay. West region. Yeah. yeah. She told me she only opens YouTube for her music. <laughs> to listen music. Now you're gonna see this video, I'll show yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm gonna go there to search. And Sub subscribe. Yeah. I have to see what, what they are going to see. <laughs> and then I'm, I'm waiting for them here. She's waiting for you here. <laughs> okay. Now you have to come here. Hey, Luis, yeah, man. Yeah, they have to come here. You see, you're already halfway. Let me start. Yeah. Eat. Yeah, let me eat. He's <laughs> making video. Hey, why is the vegetable? We are lucky because yeah. usually it's full of people here. Yeah. Oh, it's not always full? Uh, oh. Oui. No. So actually, tilapia is very tasty. I'm losing my hands. Luis is halfway already. He's like eating competition. 
<laughs> you have to busy on the phone. You have to eat. You know, I'm talking to somebody. He's working for me in my. Oh, the vegetables. Mm. We can put them here. No problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. um, Marcy. Marcy, Marcy. Marcy, thank you. Mm. So, guys, we just ate, we just cleared. That's Luis. Mine is already taken. Hey, uh, muito obrigado. That's Portuguese. <laughs> How do you say thank you in Marcy? See? Marcy. In French. In French. Yeah. Merci. Merci and uh, nos vemos a luego. Okay, she speaks. Hasta la próxima. Okay. So guys, you're passing through the streets here and we see a lot of African streets. Uh, what's the name of this street, bro? This street. La Pen. La, eh? la Pen? Mm -hmm. la, la Pen. La Pen. Yeah, so that's we are walking in La Pen here. Oh, Belgium, man. Feels, feels chill. Feels chill here. Where is the best nightlife, Luis? Where people I go don't know. party? I don't go to nightlife. It's, uh, it's not a good place for nightlife in, in Brussels. This guy is from here, but he doesn't like his home at all. He's very negative about the place. He just wanna go away and away. In many places, if you are black, you cannot enter and. Uh, you know, club. So I don't go out, actually. Uh, is that like a fact or you... Huh? Is that a fact or are you just saying you, it? You can try it, you will see. It's, it depends on the place. There are places you can enter, they will let you in. Yeah. But many places, they, they don't like, ah, black people, you cannot enter. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Why? Why do you think so? I don't know. They think uh, maybe a drug dealer or something? Oh. I have no idea. I have not been in a party since 2006, so I don't know. Oh, bro. Hey. I don't, in this city, I don't have friends. I don't go to party and I don't want to do... I have an office, that's it. That's, that's the only thing I have. I have a house and an office. Oh, and that's it. And this guy, this is where he was born. This is where he should be very comfortable calling home. But... I, I, I Spain, just, Spain feel more home than here. Spain? Yeah. No, I just feel like it's your attitude, bro. Huh? Like you just don't like this place. It's your attitude. Mm -hmm. It's not about the place. It's about yeah. you. I feel so. Yeah, but it's like this for many people. So even if me, I do nothing. It's like that for my mother. It's like that for my brother. It's like that for everyone. Oh. Careful, man. Yeah. So where is the central district where there are like flags? I saw that place. They have like flags, bandera. Because you, you don't know you. Because you, you have a pillar, we, we have under humiliation every day, every day. Yeah. So you can, we cannot be meek and happy face and a smiley face for 20 years. It doesn't work, you know? <laughs> Even my mother, my, my mother, when she go to bank, when she go to her work, my yeah. brothers, everything is like this for everybody. So how do black people make money here, man? Because if it's like that, kind of you feel... I don't know, my, my, my cousin, she yeah. has depression because Sometimes she goes, she fill a job application and then they say, oh yeah, we really like our, your qualification. Yeah. But then when she arrives at the company, she, she see a black girl and then they're like this, we cannot hire you. Oh man, that's crazy. You know, the funny thing is we were walking in the streets and we saw drug dealers. Uh, actually, they were black guys. What do you think about that? Do you think like maybe if people see black people in the street selling drugs, like the way we've seen them today, uh -huh. people feel bad, like we don't need these people because they spoil their society. Or what do you think about that? You know my I, point. I, I because, because even me, if, if I see people selling drugs like right there, even I didn't film them because yeah. I was afraid. Because and it, mm -hmm. You can say, yeah, it's your attitude. For example, someone can go and travel in holiday, go to Spain, he will be very happy to in Spain. Yeah. And then you will have really the happiness energy. And then you will arrive here and this happiness will go away. Away really quickly because then he has humiliation every day, every day. Wow. 
Do police like stop you in the streets and say? No, no, this, this, in, this doesn't happen here. Okay. I think I've always. Wow. Guys, uh, we are filming here a uh, black living in, um, in Brussels. Uh, from my own opinion, me, I think life is good here. I swear before God, life is good. Uh, because I've seen some girl in the restaurants, she sold me also this ginger. Life is good. I feel like if you mind your business and just do what you're supposed to do, it's okay. But at the same time, Louis was born here. You want to tell people how old you are, Louis, so they see you have experience. It's not like you're just talking. Oh, I've been here for 42 years. Yeah, Louis is 42 years. So imagine, 42 years he's been living here. So that's his experience. So he's not just talking. He knows actually what he's saying. Okay, welcome to Brussels, Belgium. It's your boy, I am Mara. We're cruising around here. The beautiful dog right there. Also, you don't understand. There's something you don't understand. Many yeah. people, yeah. when you come to uh, Africa, yeah. and then you come here, you go up. Uh, for many people, they're happy even if there's bad things. It's okay because they're still going up. But for us, we're already that up. So we for me to go up is to go to Spain, to a place like Spain, some other pla place, you see? Wow. Life will be better than I mean. In other words, what you're saying is, uh, somebody like me who just came from Africa, I'll be happy to be here. Yes, yes, totally. Because because uh, it's a new environment. For example, if you are sick or have injury, yeah. they will, um, you will have free, for free. Free treatment, yeah. Yes. So they are so like... you're going up. Yeah, I'm going up because in Africa I'll be paying. I'll be paying, but he says somebody who was born here I, I, and I understand him. I think it's just the fact that when you have something too much, you don't actually value it. So that's where he is at this point. And uh, so my office is at the seventh floor here. Wow, bro. Tell people what you do. Maybe they may work to, they may wish to, you know, being black in Belgium. This is the title of the video. Being black in Belgium. Yeah. Well, if you want to be black in Belgium. You need to have your own business, like the woman who went to the restaurant, they have the own, they have the own business, so they don't have an angry white boss, yeah. they, have, they make their own money, like yeah. my family, we have only our own business, Yeah. so nobody can, you know, we have employment, we have money, employment, we don't depend from people who don't like us, Oh. Yeah. so you need to start a company, some business. Yeah. Yes. Not work for some people. No, not do that. Wow, man. It's the, it's the best. The people, the black people you see here happy, they yeah. have their own business. Oh. They don't depend from... Uh, from... The, when I was in the 20, my 20s, I worked at a Belgium company. Yeah. We were only two black guys and one, he was always complaining of racism. And then he left the company, he was disgusted. Uh-huh. But wow. if you have your own company, yeah. it doesn't happen. How about dating? Dating white women here because you're black? Just tell me yeah. that. Do they keep Be you really, aside? Really, 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 really honest. honest. Yeah. You go to Latin American clubs, salsa place. Yeah. You will meet Italian, Spanish, yeah. Latin American girl, and it's okay. I had many girlfriends here. Yeah. I had Italian girlfriend. Yeah. It's okay if you go to the place where, where they value they value you yes they don't see a match yeah but like if there was a club is only latin latin, latin music yeah there it's easy to to meet the woman and what's the name of the club maybe somebody's watching well, this. i've not been there for like 20 oh maybe, okay. maybe it's closed maybe it doesn't exist anymore. okay but that's generally that's what you're saying yes, if you yes. go to because when i was uh, because i've never had a problem to find a girlfriend here actually so. oh wow I was thinking maybe because you are black, then it's gonna be difficult, no, especially no. in a country where white like, is more. For example, I noticed the Italian woman; they really like a black man. Yeah. And there are many Italian here. Oh, okay. And uh, it's easy to meet Italian. Girl. And how about dating black to black? Is it like difficult or it's just? Uh, dating black to black, yeah. If you go to a black club, yeah. yeah. But here the the many many women tend to be shallow, shallow, so they don't want. What's they look shallow? Shallow. They want yeah. a guy who has money, who oh, has a car, and oh, who has a good job. Oh. They don't want to be one of those guys that we saw. Oh. You see? Yeah. Damn, man. Eh? And, and you told me actually here, 
if you don't work, you may find yourself homeless. You told me about your friend. Yeah, a friend from the school. We went to school when we were little. Uh huh. He is in the. Maybe we will see him today. Wow. He sleeps in the street now. He sleeps in the street now? Yeah. He's 47 or something. Wait, is he using drugs or something? I think yes. Oh man, you can't even advise him because he was your friend. Hmm? You can't advise him because he was your friend. I give him many advice. Yeah. He don't want to listen. He don't the thing the problem with him is lazy. Oh he's lazy. Ah. Welcome to Sweden. Not Sweden actually, Belgium. And uh, this is Luis. Please, he has a YouTube channel. You can check him out. We're just discussing being black in uh, uh, Belgium, his experiences and everything. And he's he was born here. He's 42 years old, so he has actually more than enough experience. You know, some people just travel to countries like three months, and we already know what we know. But somebody being born here, raised here, going to school around here, and now, you know, he knows better than I can say. Man, is there something you want to say that maybe I have not asked you, especially being black in Belgium? So there is a YouTube video, it's called Being a Black Woman in Brussels or Belgium. Watch yeah. this video, it's 25 minutes yeah. and you will understand what it is to be a black woman here. It's much worse to be a woman than to be a man. <laughs> oh, it's worse to be a woman than to be a man? Yes. What do you mean, bro? Can you at least explain a little bit, even if I'm going to put that video here? I think women are more discriminated than men because oh. when I finished the, the school, yeah. I never my my cousin, yeah. she's woman, yeah, and she has difficulty to find a job. Wow. Okay, uh -huh. you have never uh, difficulty to find a job, and you dress really nice, man. Look, really, really good, man. You're looking sharp and smart. Yes. So it's more difficult to be a woman than to be. Yes, it is. Wow, bro. With this all riches, man, people driving nice, chill vibes, nice streets, nice cars. Look, Mercedes Benz, another Benz, Audi, a Mini Cooper, all these, man. Damn. So, do you have sisters or br brothers, especially sisters? I have one brother. Only one brother? Yes. Oh, I wanted to ask if you have sisters, if they are married or not. No. Okay. We are in Brussels, Belgium. Bringing you crazy tours around the world. Please guys give the video a like, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I think you guys have understood. All I need is you, baby, baby. How much do I need to party here in Jamaica? Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles. So I'm officially saying goodbye to Japan. As you see, sir, welcome to Japan. Where is Elisa? Soy de España. I'm heading to.